Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be working more on the car program. Now, if this doesn't look familiar to you, this code right here, then you may want to go ahead and move back to the beginning of the car program series. Um, and if not, then let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you remember from the last tutorial, we created an array list that stored all of our cars and it added, it, added them to this list box. Now, you can see that if we click on Honda CRV and click Show Info, we get Mustang GT. Now, this has nothing to do uh, with uh, the Honda CRV. This is just going to show the info of our default sports car because we set it to do that when the button Show Info is clicked, as you can see right here. Uh, let's find it right there. So it's going to show the car info of the default sports car. So what we need to do to show the info of the selected in the, the uh, car that's selected inside of list cars, we're going to have to create a uh, private variable up here. So we'll just call it selected car as all cars dot car. So you can see that we didn't use the new keyword because we're going to be setting it equal to different cars in here. And when you use new, it creates an instance of that car and it can't be set equal to any other types of cars. And now, you may be wondering, uh, what if this selected car is a truck or a sports car? Well, um, we can use what polymorphism here. If you remember from the previous tutorials, I think it was a couple of tutorials back, but any, uh, any object that inherits from the car class can be treated as a car object, uh, which is the concept of polymorphism. So now that we have our selected car, um, what we need to do is access the selected index changed event of list cars. So we can do that just by double clicking and it will load it up right here. So now what we need to do is set the selected car to whatever car they have selected in the list box. So we'll just go ahead and type selected car equals and now what we're going to do is we are going to access our cars array list. So we'll just type cars and now we're going to have to get use an index right here. So it gives or sets an element at the specified index. So we're just going to be getting uh, that uh, element at the index. Now if you remember when it adds these uh, cars to the list box it's going to add them uh, based on the index. So the car at index of 0 is added to the index of 0 in the list and the car at the index of 1 is added to the index of 1 in the list. So this is very useful to us um, in accessing the cars. So you can see when we do add all cars for each car as all cars dot car in our cars array list we're going to add that to the uh, list box and so it adds it in numerical order according to the cars array list. So the way we can set this selected car equal to uh, the car that the, the user wants to see, we can just type list cars dot selected index. And the selected index of list cars is going to be equal to the index in cars that uh, the user wants to see. Now this may be a little bit confusing to you, but if you mess around with this code right here, uh, this and your car array list, you should uh, start to pick up what I'm saying if you don't already know it. So now that we've set our selected car uh, to the um, the car that's been selected in the index of our list box, what we want to do is show the car info. So you can see here that we show the car info of the default sports car. Now all we have to do to show the car info of the car that they've clicked on is just change this to selected car. And so this makes it a whole bunch, uh, this makes it a lot easier um, to change and modify your code when you split stuff up into different subs. Um, and you can see that all we had to do was just change the arguments in here because this already does everything for us, but it takes a generic car right here and we can change that to whatever we want instead of having to rewrite all the code again. So we'll go ahead and run this and see what kind of results we get. So let's select CRV. If we show info, we get Honda CRV, the color is red, which is default. 
it has five doors and the speed is zero. We'll click Mustang GT. We'll show the info. The car name is Mustang GT. The color is red. It has two doors and the speed is currently zero. Now you can see that we didn't get any errors there because of polymorphism. Our sports car was treated as a car. Now I know I repeat myself a lot on this, but this is a concept that is very helpful and you guys should all understand it if you want to progress in your programming. So we'll go ahead and close out of that and let's add one more thing before we're finished with this tutorial. Whenever they change the index of our list cars, what if the index is not a valid index? So in that case it would be negative one. So we can just add a simple if statement here. So if list cars dot selected index does not equal negative one then we'll just go ahead and set this value so this will prevent any errors from happening in our program um, so if they tried to select the index to negative one it would try to do this and our program would uh, most likely crash so um, go ahead and type this code and if you have it I really suggest it will help you learn the concepts a lot better and you can change it yourself um, and then once you've done that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.